Hey everyone, it's Brayden here for GSHelper.com, and today we're going to be talking about setting up iOS in-app purchases in GameSolid and iTunes Connect. Now, depending on how long this goes, I might split this up into two videos. Um, so we'll just see uh, how long it takes us. First thing to do is log into iTunes Connect, and you'll want to go into Manage Your Applications. Once there, you can select your app. I'm just going to select this one and you'll see a button on the top right it says Man at manage in-app purchases you're gonna click that now I've already gone ahead and created some because this is a game that is not available on the Apple Store right now but uh, you won't have any um, so what you're gonna just do is create a new in-app purchase um, you can create a consumable or a non-consumable in-app purchase a consumable in-app purchase is an in-app purchase uh, that you can use uh, like to gain stars or to gain coins where the user can keep purchasing as much as he or she wants uh, a non-consumable in-app in purchase would be something like um, unlocking all the levels in a level based game uh, and that's just one example so let's let's do one of each let's do a consumable first reference name uh, this is just something that you can uh, identify it by. So we're just going to say that our game has coins and we want to increase the coins when the user purchases uh, or uses this in-app purchase. So we're just going to say coins plus 100. That's just a reference name. The product ID, now this is important. Um, this is what we're going to be putting into game selling. So we're going to say uh, 100 coins. All right, cleared for sale. Yes, uh, t uh, price tier. We're going to just select tier one. That's 99 cents, and it'll show you here. You can select from all of these. It's up to you. Uh, in at purchase details, language. We're going to make sure that this is in English. Um, and the display name. We're going to put uh, 100 coins. Now the description. This is what they're going to see when it pops up. So we can put down something like would you like to purchase 100 uh, let's just do extra coins and then we can click save and review notes optional um, and then screenshot for review uh, this is needed for every in that purchase that you have so pretty much what you can do is either go into GameSod and once this is all set up you can like take a picture of your store or your in-app purchase page even if it's just the button um, and that's way the uh, review the screenshot they can look at it and uh, do all they need to do there it tells you the uh, the size that it needs to be uh, 72 dpi at least um, I don't have one set up right now but you can just go ahead and choose yours or you could go ahead and click save and then once it's all set up in game salad you can take a picture from there or when you put this on an ad hoc alright this will load there we go so you see we have uh, coins plus a hundred right here and that is a consumable uh, item uh, status so all of these do not have pictures yet but like I said you can set it up in game salad or on your ad hoc and take a picture on there and then just upload it in here um, so we're going to create one more and this is going to be a non-consumable item and we'll call this unlock well full game alright and product ID unlock game so say you have a game that you're giving the player 20 levels free and you want them to purchase the rest of the levels this is how you would do it. You just create a product ID. This is a con uh, non consumable. Alright, we're going to add a language English unlock all levels. That's our display name. Description Would you like to unlock all the levels in this game? And click save. alright and then uh, we want to make sure that hosting content with Apple is selected um, and again your screenshot 
uh, and then you can go ahead and click save uh, we do have to select a price so let's say we want this uh, 199 that way they have to pay two dollars to unlock the full game and again uh, if you have a screenshot you can upload it here you will need one before updating or submitting to Apple go ahead and click save okay so I've already used this product ID in one of my games so we'll just do unlock full game 2 uh, alright you can put that whatever you want uh, it just needs to be something that we can look at so we can uh, trigger it within game salad so now you should have two new in-app purchase uh, we should we should have unlock full game and uh, coins plus 100 or whatever you named these um, but there should be a non-consumable and a consumable so check back in the next video and we will take these and work them into game sound